what you've got there in front of you, if we start from the top, is we talk you got a list of numbers there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Okay, and then when we go and add chords to them, we do a fast track down to the box below. Down, 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 yep, to the box below there. Yep. Right? Cool. Yeah. And you see along the bottom there there's all those Roman numerals, one, two, three, four, five, right? Yep. So those are all the keys with all the chords. Key yeah, right. So on the first column, can you see a, a let's go C for an A foot? Yeah, C major's up the top. Yeah. Then G major. Yeah. D major. Yeah. A, a G, G, B, major. and so on. Yep. yep. Okay, cool. Now, <clears throat> what we're most interested in in there is organizing all those keys around your vocal range. Okay, so the D is easy to do. Right, so you got D, E, so if you follow along here, the notes are D, E, F sharp, right, if you follow that line, G, yeah, so take that D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, right? Yep. So, and then if you follow those chords, you've got D, so check that table, yep, D, D major, E minor, so check that table. Minor, yep. F sharp minor. Yep. G. A. B minor. C sharp diminished. And back to D. Okay, so whatever, whenever you're singing a D major or a D Ionian, those are your chords. Right in the key of D. Okay. Now, so the next key is G. Yes. Uh, A. A, right. Yeah. Okay, so, so now <clears throat> the range of what we're interested when we use the A key is not going from A to A, but from D to D. So go along that line A, right, so you do A, B, C sharp, D. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're interested in. So D is in which column? Is it the four column? Yep. Okay. So we're going to have D, E, follow the note, right? E major. F sharp minor, right? G sharp diminished. Yep. A, B minor. B minor, yep. Right? C sharp minor. C sharp minor, yep. And D. Okay, so what we've gone and done is gone through the chords in the key of A, but from D to D. Oh, okay, I understand. Right? Now, what that means is from your scale point of view, instead of singing, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Oops, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Fa, the melody comes out of this. Do, Re, Mi, Fi, Sol, La, Ti, Fa. You've only changed one note in your vocal range and you've changed the key. Oh, is that right? You've only changed one note, right? So instead of going D, G, and A as you would in the key of D, you're now in the key of A. So you're going... And vocally, you've only changed one note. You've changed from this to that, and you've changed key, and you've changed all those chords. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, so just sing this. Right, so just by using this note... Sing that one. Da, da, Instead of the swap. If you use this one, we're in the key of G, D. Use this one, we're in the key of A. It's only one note difference, but it just changes everything. Is that right? Yeah. One note changes the yeah. scale. Yeah. And changes the chords that go with it. 
Ah, okay. So then it'll make the sound sound different. It'll sound different, but you, vocally you're in the same range. Ah, okay. I'm with you rather than... Yeah, 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 yeah. Rather than following the chords. Mm -hmm. Right, next line. E. So, yeah, E major. Okay. So again, we want to go for something that's closer to D. If we take D as the reference point. Okay, so go to the second to last chord, D sharp. D sharp diminished. Right, so D sharp diminished. So we start with a D sharp diminished. Uh, what, what's the whole diminished thing? Oh, let's not get into that at the moment. Okay. At this stage, I just want you to focus on um, what happens when we move things around your vocal range. Okay. okay. So just for now, all you know is that any time a chord happens on the seventh of a scale, it's a diminished. Okay. okay. So here's our E sharp diminished, D sharp diminished, right? So here we go. So we're in the key of E, so you can start from here, right? And then we're into A, uh, E, right? So so that's in your range, E, F sharp. Actually, I'll get you to sing along with it, so. So we move it slightly to bring it up to an E. So now what we've gone and done is just extended your range by one half step, just to this uh, D sharp finish. Yeah. Right. So that's taken up by one. We've gone up a whole tone there. So we had a choice of either going up a half step, or if we wanted to stay strictly in your range, we would have just gone from D sharp to C sharp, right, which is comfortable, right, sing that, right, so now you've got another key, when you change the key, right, your chords are E, A and B, your main ones. And you can think of that key as being one where you don't use all your range or just above your range. Right, these one's going to sound different. So, so what, what's that in there? E. E. Uh, I think a lot of my other songs are sort of in E. Yeah. So we start off with E with you. Okay, next one. So B, same thing, we got a D sharp. If we go to three, num to three in the row, D sharp, right? So we're looking for the first, closest thing to D. D sharp minor. Yeah, right. So sing that one. Okay, D sharp minor, I'm not going to get that there, so. Um, uh, okay, there you go. D sharp minor. Then we're gonna to go to then we're gonna to go to E. Then we're gonna to go to F sharp. Then G sharp. Then A sharp. And then B. B's home. Right? Then C sharp. B, right, is up here, and that's where the home is really for that particular that. melody. For the B major. For being, so on the guitar and in your range, right, so this is your range from here to there. Yeah. Right? D to D. And this is the home for that scale. 
In other words, when you're singing a song in this key, right, so this is like your range. Right, there's the bottom, and here's yeah. the top. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right? So if you think about this as being like your vocal range, then home is up here somewhere. Halfway. Right, so it's up in your chest. Okay. Yeah. Right, and when you think about D, D is home up here at the top of the range and at the bottom of the range. Okay, yeah. Now, what do you think feels different? If this is home for the song, and it's up the the top third of your range, it's up two thirds up your range. Like, um, Energy wise, what does that song? What does that note feel like? Medium. Yeah. Compared to. Yes, yeah, higher. Right, so here's the thing, we've had home down here and home up there. So that means all your away stuff is in the middle of your range. All my away stuff. Away stuff, right, if you've got home and away. Oh, okay, then home yeah, notes yeah. and away notes, right? So if you're home at the bottom and home at the top, you're away here in the middle. Okay. If you're home here, you're away down there, and you're away up here. Right, and home is up here. So in terms of your voice, that may be a more vulnerable part of your voice. Okay, but that's right. supposed to be my home though, is that right? Yeah, yeah, so what this is basically <clears throat> saying is if, that if, you know, if we say that it's got a vulnerable character, then maybe you're writing your vulnerable songs in this key. Okay, yeah. Right, because you're a, you, the, it's set up, so that's home, and uh, that's at the top of your range, and it's not a lot to go to you run out of range, you know, and all your support is down here. All your vocal support is down here. When I'm doing low stuff. Yeah, so you, so you want to separate, now what we're doing is separating your vocal range and talking about and relating it to the melodies. Right, so when we go into different keys, we can have different melodies. So when you're in the key of B, for example, this one here. You're in a Phrygian mode. So you're singing this. Oops. start to see as we get into a bit more detail but the so that's my that's the stuff that i find easy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. right so Yeah. Sing, sing well it is basically yeah. that. when you're it, driving it's down there and then i guess the chorus is yeah, up up here, yeah. Home, yeah. Home, so sometimes you want the vulnerability in the verse and your assurance in the chorus uh, okay yeah, you yeah. see what i'm saying yep other times you want the drive in the chorus so you want to be at the top of your range and pumping other times you want to be at the kind of top of your range and kind of exposed yeah, I know what you mean. You know what I mean? Well, I guess it's just rearranging my vocal range aid, so... Yes, it's saying, well, this is what my range can do, and in this key, my home is here, in this key, home is here, in this key, home is there, right? So we're going through all these different keys, and they've all got different homes. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's like you've got different centres of gravity. Yep. Yeah. Same range, right? So it's a question of whether... If that's your, uh, so really what we're saying is, 
when you're on D, that's your range. Okay, when we went to A, uh, we went to A, there's home in there. Okay, we go to B, home is there. Let's see what happens to your balance. Yep. Right? And when we're in C, your balance is here. Right? When is we that go because is that where D is? Yeah, in your range. Okay. Right? And when we're in E, your balance is here. Right, so everything's above. When in the key of G, your balance is here. Yeah. Yeah. Starting to get that sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Same notes. But if you assign one to be home, then all the others play a different role. Okay. Yeah. And then all the others, then you choose different chords to go with each each home note. Yeah. Right? So that's what we're trying to walk through here. So we've got to be. Remember last time, so you sort of said to me, you said for me to be aware of where it is on either playing on the neck or singing as yeah. well. Like yeah, yeah. If it that high up, you're gonna have to yeah. Yeah. come up. Yeah. You, you know, present yeah. pre present your posture. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the mechanics of it. Yeah. But so what we're talking about now is more the um kind of the compositional thing of it. The tools. The tools of how to you're using your voice now as a as an instrument. Yeah, as an instrument. And as a... Well, it's the whole, everything revolves it's around it. My boundaries. My yeah, knowing what your voice. But basically, what that table's saying is that your voice can basically do twelve different things, right? Being twelve different keys, and it's gonna your voice is gonna still feel the same because you're using the same notes, but it's gonna feel slightly different because the home is different, right? And when the home is different, your body feels a bit different. Right, so if you think of each key as being like <clears throat> a different posture, physiologically. Yeah, I'm sort of aware of that, like when I'm playing certain songs, like some yeah. I can just play easy yeah. as, or some I've got to, yeah. like, make sure my voice is warmed up. And... <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's next? G, oh, we've done B major. G, G flat? G flat. Okay. That's what the little one is, A. Yeah. G, B. Yeah. Okay, so D flat, uh, E flat, right? Is the first is your first note in there, so it's E flat minor. So there's that note. Sing that guy. So you're in the key of G flat. Go along to six, row six. There's, there's, D, there's D major in five, no? No, for G flat, key of G flat. Go along that line. Yeah, there's a D, there's a D major though. Eh? Is that the one? Yeah, G flat, hold on, that's D flat. Oh, is that D so flat? they're E flat, that's one you want. Right, so here are the columns, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, okay. So we're going to column six, there's E flat. Yeah. Okay, so we're starting from there. So your vocal is starting from E flat. Your vocal range is starting from E flat. How always going to uh, number six, the column six? That's just happens to be. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, why we're going there is because we're, we're going to the open D string first. Yeah. And we're finding the first note that's in that key of G flat which is E-flat, and then E-flat is number six in that key. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. okay, so we've got E-flat minor, so sing E-flat. Okay, then we're going to go to F, F diminished. Then we're going to go to G-flat. That's home. We know that's what the key is. We started from E flat, which is six, in the sixth column. Yep. Then we went to F, which is in the seventh column. Ah, yeah, yeah, and yeah. G flat is in the eighth column or the one column. Yep, which is, and that's the which home. Is the beginning. That's the home key, your home note, right? Yep. So in your range, that's the home note in this key. Sing that one. Flat 
region. Now what you've got there are these chords. <coughs> it's going to sound it sounds flatter. Right, and you go. Now on the compared to this, as compared to this, right, and we're only one half step away. So, so you can get a lot out of your voice. I mean, if you decide that's a sad song, by just going down, you know, a half step, now you're into flat keys. And that's the sort of, yeah, yeah. And it just changes the light condition of the day, yeah, yeah whole mood, right? And it just gets you to find more things in your voice because you're using keys that you don't use that often. I think I do use quite a lot of sad songs. You know? Yeah. So there's your home key there. Next one. D minor flat. D flat. Okay. So D flat and the first one in that is E flat again. So there's E flat minor. So sing that. So it's in the two chord. start thinking about all these different homes that your songs can have. Okay then, yep. This is up one. Yes. Right, so yeah, I just think of songs that can finish right on home, right at the top of your range. So we can finish this next week. Yeah, cool. And I'll post that for you. But are you starting to get the idea? Yep. Definitely. Right. So every note in your range is a potential home for each song. So you don't have to stick all your songs into just two two or three homes. Yeah, okay. I might be what else would be doing. Right. And so that's how you can get a lot more mileage out of your songs. Is by checking which homes to put them in. By starting the scale in different. Yeah, well, yeah, well, not too far. So if you've got a C, for example, right? I oh, know. So C's up here in your range. The home could be either a D flat or a B. In which case, all the chords change. Okay. Yeah. Right. And also, if you think about when you're doing a performance. If you've got songs in six keys, you could have 13 songs, and they're across six keys, right? And you're only going to, and when you repeat a song, you can repeat the one next to each other or wide apart from each other. But it's going to make your songs sound a lot richer because they're not in the same place. Yeah, true. Right, same songs, different places. Yep. Not even. Right. Cool. I think that's what John Mayer did because his oh, I can right. sort of sing most of his songs. Yeah. In Hooker. Yeah. So he must have. Oh, he's got he's got organised around his range too. Yeah. All singers have to, but most of them don't know about. It. Okay, so I'll, I'll upload this for you.